News 46 is brought to you by Comfort Hospice Care, where we give our patients and their loved ones peace of mind, knowing we provide the highest quality of care 24 hours a day, seven days a week. For more information, call 751-0349. News is also brought to you by Star Nursery. For all your landscape and gardening supplies right here in Pahrump. Call 775-727-5300 for more information. Tonight on News 46, a three-vehicle accident causes a rollover. Two structure fires are being investigated. It is the last day of the year. We have 2014 in review. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Wednesday, December 31st, 2014. I'm Jennifer Mood sitting in tonight for Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Traffic was blocked around a three-vehicle accident last night on Charleston Park and Barney Streets. This accident report is brought to you by Half Price Lawyers, located on the corner of Mason and 160. Call 775-400-0000. A three-vehicle accident occurred last night on Charleston Park and Barney Streets. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue and Nye County Sheriff's deputies arrived on scene to find one vehicle, a minivan, on its side. The van was reportedly leaking fluids and there was one person entrapped inside. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue were able to help extricate that person from that van. All other occupants of the other vehicles had self-extricated before the arrival of the medic units. The victims of the accident declined to be transported to local medical facilities. However, traffic was blocked while the accident was being conducted by Nye County Sheriff's deputies. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. The reason for an accident Saturday night, Saturday night involving several vehicles is still being investigated at this time. A multi-vehicle accident occurred at the Prump Nugget and also on Crawford Road. Prump Valley Fire and Rescue and Nye County Sheriff's deputies arrived on scene for a report of an accident that happened on Crawford near Highway 372 and 160. The female involved in the accident, who was an elderly lady, apparently struck a car on Crawford and then went into the Prump Nugget parking lot, striking several possibly vehicles inside the Nugget parking lot, including the ones that were put out there by Saida Trudeau for a weekend car sale. It appears that her vehicle struck the back tow bar of at least one pickup truck, causing major damage to her vehicle. Debris was on the ground throughout the Prump Nugget parking lot as well as radiator fluid. The cause of the accident is under investigation by the Nye County Sheriff's deputies. It's not known at this time if she was in fact under the influence of drugs or alcohol or if she was suffering from a medical episode. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Nye County Sheriff Tony DeMeo issued a press release today concerning the death of Los Osos resident Margay Edwards. Margay's death has been ruled undetermined at that foul play is not suspected. Edwards' body was discovered in September when ATV riders found her in an advanced stage of decomposition in the desert off Hafen Ranch. Her body was lying about a half mile from the roadway. Her vehicle was found in a ravine three miles east from where she was located. We will have more on this story on Friday's night's newscast. The state fire marshal is looking into the reason for a structure fire which occurred in the Artesia neighborhood. There was a structure fire on Doubletree. Can you tell me what type of home that uh, was burning? It was a double wide manufacturer with an addition to the back of it. The occupants weren't home at the time? No, they were out apparently uh, visiting friends. Can you tell me a little bit about the animals that were there? I heard that they were inside the motor home. There was some cats out in an RV behind the, the home there. Do you guys know how it started? Not at this time. We're still, still investigating. Was the home a complete loss? I would say at this point, yes. It, it took the entire center out of the home. So There were some extreme conditions that were happening that night. Can you talk a little bit about that? We had some, some pretty significant winds, anywhere from 10 up to 30 mile an hour in gusts 
and the, the cooler temperatures really made it difficult for us. You think it would help a lot with the fires, but it, it just makes it, you know, just numbing on the hands and the, the face. And you got cold water spraying back in your face. You're trying to do things. We're forming ice as we're going along. The wind's blowing things around, and the floor's collapsing out. So there's nowhere to go in and stand on to work with us. So. Was there a little bit of delay in notification on that fire because there was nobody home? Uh, not sure. We don't know. You know, it was called in by neighbors, so we don't know how long it would have been before. Can you talk a little bit about the evacuations in that area? Neighbors to the immediate sides, but I believe the uh, the neighbor to the west was already gone and uh, visiting family somewhere else. And so there was a lot of embers going on at, that night. Yeah, there was there was a lot of embers raining over to uh, about a, a block away. So no other structures, no other property was damaged? No. And so you're going to continue the investigation? Yes. Right now the State Fire Marshal and the uh, Fire Chief and, and our crews are all working together trying to see if we can come to a conclusion on this. How's the family doing now, do you know? Uh, I, I haven't talked to them since, but uh, they seem like they were doing okay. We got them some Red Cross assistance. Fire crews responded to a structure fire on Johnny Mine Street over the weekend. Structure fire on Johnny Mine, can you tell me a little bit about it? Saturday evening dispatch report of a structure fire in Johnny Mine. Upon arrival, we found light smoke showing from the second floor of a two-story dwelling. Uh, the investigation revealed that on the second floor, there was a sofa in close proximity to an exterior wall that had been burning. It was easily extinguished. In fact, it was mostly extinguished by a dry can that was used prior to our arrival. Our crews came in and finished the suppression, ventilated the residence, and the investigation commenced. And was it extinguished before you guys arrived, or they were trying to? I heard a little bit about the homeowners going back in the house. Yeah, the homeowners were going back in and out of the house, and at one point they came in uh, possession of a dry chem extinguisher, and they discharged that dry chem up on that area, and uh, it extinguished a, a good portion of the fire, but not quite all of it. The crews came in and finished up the work. Do you know the cause? The cause is under investigation. It appears to be accidental in nature. However, there was other issues that were addressed by the sheriff's office, and um, it may have ended up in a several arrests. We're not quite certain as the crews cleared just before the NCSO did. Thank you so much. Thank you. There was one person arrested at the Johnny Mine Structure Fire. We will have more on that story on Friday night's broadcast. News 46 will return after these messages. This portion of the news is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. US 95 has been closed at the Nevada-California state line in both directions because of ice and snow conditions in California. There have been multiple accidents on the California side. It will be closed until further notice. Some accidents have been reported on State Route 163 headed into Laughlin, but it remains open for the time being. Fire Chief Scott Lewis gives some tips on New Year's safety. Let's talk about New Year's safety because I know that people are thinking of celebrating tonight and uh, having a lot of fun, uh, drinks, uh, possibly fireworks. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we get reports that there might be fireworks throughout the community tonight. Again, with fireworks comes a lot of inherent dangers, burns, uh, injuries to extremities, you know, eye protection, things along those lines. Obviously, it's illegal to use. Sheriff's Office, I'm sure, will have beefed up patrols out there. And uh, we subsequently don't want any structure fires or anyone, any burn victims as a result of improper use of fireworks. Also, uh, partying, people uh, getting a few drinks in them. Absolutely. I think the Sheriff's Department has a really good resource, and that's if you have too much to drink, you, the Sheriff's deputies will give you a ride home tonight. Uh, we have our crews that will be on duty for anyone that has any medical issues as a result of uh, either drinking or uh, falls or anything along those lines. What we're trying to avoid is have a lot of calls for motor vehicle accidents that could be totally preventable by not being out there drinking driving. And a lot of people uh, t tonight, they're going to be out and about and very, very cold weather out there. Yeah, fall victims, uh, making sure that people get home safely. You know, you have your elderly, make sure you check up on them. Hypothermia, it, we've had a number of fall victims over the last several weeks, both indoors and outdoors. And those folks that might have fallen and can't get up on the outside of their houses, with the extreme cold temperatures we're going to be experiencing, it, it could be deadly. So make sure that we check up on those folks. Make sure they get inside. We've spoke about this before with uh, the space heaters 
and uh, so let's uh, give people a refresher a little bit on those. Absolutely, with cold weather comes a number of different types of fires, uh, space heaters, uh, use of kerosene, which is illegal, uh, carbon monoxide poisoning, uh, use of extension cords for those uh, space heaters, ancillary electrical supplies, things along those lines. The demand is much greater, therefore the resistance can build up, and you can have a secondary fire. So take every precaution, make sure that we have a great New Year's, no one gets hurt unnecessarily, and again, make sure there's no structure fires as a result of improper use of that equipment. Please stay safe and do not drink and drive. If you need a safe ride home tonight, you can call the Nye County Sheriff's Office at 751-7000. I mean the number for Integrity Taxi is 751-1111. Once again, the Sheriff's Office is 751-7000. Integrity Taxi is 751-1111. When we return with, with, after this break, we will have your 2014 year in review, so stay tuned. As we step into a new year, we look back at the biggest stories of 2014. Should all the acquaintance be forgot days of old lang for all for for all we'll take we'll take a cup of kindness yet for days of old lang days of old lang Days of old Lang Syne And here's a hand to my trusted friend And give a hand Oh, we miss my day That's not going to change, so Days of old Lang Days of old Lang Syne For old Lang Syne, my dear for all lang syne, my dear For all, for all lang We'll take, we'll take a cup of kindness yet For days of old lang 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 Should old acquaintance be forgot and never be brought to mind Should all, should all acquaintance be forgot And days of old Lang Syne For old Lang Syne, my dear For old Lang Syne, for old Lang Syne, my dear For old Lang Syne, we'll take a Days of old Lang Syne. 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 Should all old Lang Syne be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all, should all the acquaintance be forgot and days of old Lang Syne? Connected. Now, this is my test. F you, you. I had mother. Four days of old Lang Days of old Lang Days of old Lang And here's a hand to my trusted friend. And give a hand. Kindness yet for days of old Lang Syne. For all, for all Lang Syne, my dear. For all Lang Syne, for all Lang 
Lanzine, my dear, oh, for, all, oh, for all Lanzine. We'll take, we'll take a cup of kindness, yeah. Four days of days of old Lang Syne. 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 Should old acquaintance be forgot and never be brought to mind? Should old, should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old Lang Syne? If you are listening on K-Ace Country Radio, we apologize for you not being able to view those stories in our year in review. If you would like to see the biggest stories of 2014, you can find the story on our YouTube channel, KPVM 41. You can also hook up KPVM TV for free by calling 727-9400, extension 203. That's 727-9400, extension 203. We would also like to thank Darby O'Donnell for that report. When News 46 returns, I'll have your weather for you. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. Welcome back to News 46. Today is New Year's Eve, Wednesday, December the 31st. Today was a cloudy day with a high temperature of 43 degrees, with an average temperature of 56 degrees. Our winds were heading north-northeast at 16 miles per hour and gusts were up to 29 miles per hour. Our UV index today was 1, which is low, and our humidity was at 24%. Our sunrise this morning was at 6.56 a.m., and our record high was in 1995 at 74 degrees. Tonight will be partly cloudy with a low temperature of 23 degrees and our average temperature at 38 degrees. Winds will be heading north-northeast at 7 miles per hour and gusts up to 13 miles per hour. Our humidity will be at 28% and our sunset was at 4.40 p.m. Our record low was in 1990 at 18 degrees. Tomorrow will be a sunnier day with a high temperature of 46 degrees and a low temperature at 24 degrees. Winds will be heading east-northeast at 5 miles per hour and gusts up to 7 miles per hour. Humidity tomorrow will be at 24% and our sunrise will be at 6.56 a.m. Our UV index will be 2 and that is low. For our 7-day forecast, it looks like we're going to be pretty much sunny except for on the weekend. Um, our high temperatures will be at the high 40s and we might be climbing up into the high 60s. Our low temperatures will be in the mid 20s and then we'll climb up to our um, low 40s. KPVM TV invites you to like us on our local Pahrump Facebook page. Go to Facebook Local Pahrump and like us and you can win a 32 inch HD TV. Once again, our Facebook page is Local Pahrump. The winner will be announced tomorrow, January 1st, on Facebook. This Thursday, New Year's Day, KPVM TV News 46 will be airing a rebroadcast of tonight's news so that we can celebrate the holiday with our families. All of us at KPVM TV News 46, K Ace Country Radio 95.9, wish you and your family a very happy and prosperous new year. We will be back Friday night, but until then, I am Jennifer Moots. From all of us at News 46, good night.